The global record breaker, most potent wind turbine achieves unprecedented feat. Unveiling an extraordinary accomplishment, the planet's most potent wind turbine has shattered a world record by generating the highest amount of power produced by a single turbine within a 24-hour time frame. Vestas, the Danish wind industry giant, has achieved this milestone with its prototype V236-15.0 wind turbine. This groundbreaking innovation harnessed a remarkable 363 megawatt hours of energy in a single 24-hour period. Installed at the Ostrild National Test Center for Large Wind Turbines in western Jutland, Denmark, in December 2022, this 15 megawatt offshore wind turbine underwent rigorous testing and verification. It successfully reached its maximum power output of 15 megawatts for the first time in April. Sharing his insights on LinkedIn, Jesperuf, Vesta's senior director of test and validation, expressed, seven months into testing, we are thrilled to witness the turbine's performance at full power even under consistently high wind conditions. The verification process will persist as we work towards obtaining type certification and continue to showcase the sustained capabilities of this high-quality machinery. The V236-15.0 was initially introduced to the market in February 2021. Boasting a rotor diameter of 774 feet and a wind-catching area spanning 470,845 square feet, this turbine is distinguished by its 379-foot blades. Its soaring height of 919 feet also positions it as the world's tallest wind turbine. A solitary V236-15.0 unit holds the remarkable capacity to generate 80 gigawatt-hours annually. This prodigious output can sufficiently energize approximately 20,000 households across Europe, concurrently leading to the reduction of more than 38,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions, a measure equivalent to removing 25,000 passenger cars from the roads each year. Further solidifying its position as a pioneering solution, the world's most powerful wind turbine has been selected for major projects such as New York's Empire Wind 1 and Empire Wind 2 offshore ventures, slated to deliver power in the mid-2020s, and New Jersey's Atlantic Shores project, anticipated to commence operations in 2027. It is a complex undertaking, of course, to design such a big turbine. We are part of history. It is really history in the making. My name is Christian Gerlo. I'm uh, the product owner for Offshore in uh, Vestas Power Solutions. To me, I, I, I have to say that I was so impressed when I saw the prototype Nacelle for the first time in Linneu. It's so many different parts that are coming together there. A lot of people have been working on the V236 15 megawatt for actually for more than, than two years. We've been doing engineering and design and calculations. But now we are seeing that physical live product and, and we'll, we'll start to test it and, and get some real life experience with it. My name is Anders Jensen. I'm a project portfolio lead specialist within manufacturing. Having seen the Nacelle on the drawings on a computer for the past couple of years, we know this would be big. But seeing it in actual real life, everything here is just bigger. So we have the steel structure of the nacelle, which is like the skeleton. Inside the skeleton, we have the main components of the nacelle, being the gearbox, the generator, and our main bearing arrangement. My name is Anna Vidl, and I'm the SVP of Product Solution and Integration. It is a complex undertaking, of course, to design such a big turbine, and it requires that everybody are communicating a lot, collaborating, and also have a lot of passion to make sure they troubleshoot as we, as we of course see obstacles on the way. For the side compartments, we have worked a lot on 
modularization and standardization towards industry practices. And one of the good examples is that the size of the compartments actually fit very well with the supply chain requirements. They are very easy to transport both on trucks and, and on, on ships. The V2365 megawatt is actually also one of the first manifestations of uh, Vesta's modular approach to product development. Modularization enables us to reuse our design across system level, component level and subcomponent level, hereby making sure that when we are designing a new turbine, we can rely on our designs and systems already in place and the supply chain setup we already have, instead of having to redesign everything and create a new infrastructure. My name is Jesper Oates. I'm Senior Director in Test and Verification. The testing we are doing is based on several years of experience. We started this testing journey uh, already 15 years ago, and of course that has built a lot of knowledge into our test protocols. The importance of testing is extreme on this turbine because it will be in the offshore environment. And of course, we need to be sure that it can actually last for the lifetime of the turbine. That's what brings certainty into Vestas, but of course also brings certainty into our customers that this turbine is the right solution for them. Once again, Vestas is taking a very big step forward for the wind industry. We're leading the way into this super-sized segment of wind turbines. We are preparing for the energy transition, will be a very big part of it. So it's a, it's a massive undertaking. We are hosting a very large project and seeing so many skilled people working relentlessly to make this happen really, really makes me extremely proud and humble. It's a, it's a first step on offshore becoming an even more important part of the global energy system. It's an important contribution from Vestas to the energy transition. I don't like to use big words, but I think we are part of history. It is really history in the making. What makes me really proud of this one, it's not just another world record, it's more a record that will change the world. My name is Alessio D'Alessio, I'm the head of uh, Blades Production Engineering at Vestas. What I find truly remarkable about the uh, V2365 megawatt is how we've been able to achieve such a major step up in size and performance of the turbine whilst relying on well-proven technologies from the inventors in the 9 megawatt platforms, especially for blades manufacturing. Prototyping is arguably the, uh, one of the most important phases of the product development for blades. It starts very early on uh, with the development of some of the key equipment uh, that we use for manufacturing the blades. For example, the uh, large molds. I would say handling blades of this size is where we've introduced the most innovation in terms of both equipment and processes. And this is uh, always for one reason and one reason alone, to ensure safe operation and ensure quality every time we touch the blade. Every step of the manufacturing process is highly scrutinized, reviewed and assessed by uh, our project team, looking for 100% compliance of the product and the process to all technical and functional requirements of the blade. 
My name is Christian Gerlo. I'm uh, the product owner for Offshore in uh, Vestas Power Solutions. In terms of producing these very, very big blades, there are a lot of firsts, of course. The, the blade mold is much bigger than, than we've ever done before. So one of the things we've had to tackle is, is how we, we actually are able to open such a big blade mold in an existing factory building. Jamen det gør vi, vi er sådan set klar på noget. Upstream in the value chain, suppliers are truly excited about this and more engaged than ever. They've been very flexible and supportive during all the prototyping phases and they really want to be a big part of the solution together with us. Although the B23615 megawatt blade is only 35 meter longer than the B174 blade, for example, you know that some of the features scale exponentially with the blade length, for instance, the blade weight. So we're really entering into some unprecedented territory on many of the manufacturing processes that we uh, employ for building the blade. We need to scale up renewables fast, and the B23615 megawatt is there to do just that. The most challenging part of the installation process always is doing things for the very first time as well. You haven't done this. Yes, you've built towers, you've built in a cell, but in this size, for this new design, in this location, this capacity, it has never been done. My name is David Reetham. I'm a senior project manager working for uh, Vestas. I think the most exciting part of the transportation process was actually seeing these components in the flesh. You don't realise how big they are 
until you see this on a tractor trailer unit going by. The most challenging part of the process was, I suppose, doing this for the first time with brand new processes. We've learnt heavily on our V16174 experience and our Inventors products as well. Transporting turbines on the global stage, you're pushing those boundaries, you know, where you place blades and the cells. Components have increased in size, in weight, in windage. The space that they occupy goes up. The lifting capacity needed for cranes, key sides will go up. Foundations that are needed to support those, they will go up. That's a natural progression. The prototype is erected in Østerild in Denmark. It's a massive civil engineering feat actually to put up one of these turbines onshore. The tower and the nacelle and the blade uh, are installed by some of the biggest cranes available onshore. And we've actually had to develop special lifting processes to be able to erect this, this very, very big turbine onshore. Our reference points are of course 164174. But it means the world's the best that we're continuing to push those boundaries. My name is Morten Bukkeitz, and I am the Group Senior Vice President for Global Offshore Commercial. Vestas has been committed to the offshore industry for more than 25 years. From the first V39 500 kilowatt to this new flagship turbine. It clearly shows our commitment and dedication to the offshore industry. It is difficult not to be extremely proud of this achievement. We are now looking forward to delivering this turbine to our customers and to projects globally. And we are ready for the first installation of the first commercial projects in 2025. The expertise and the capabilities we have in Vestas also comes with an obligation. The world needs sustainable energy and we need to free ourselves from our dependency on fossil fuels and we need to fight climate change. Vestas is uniquely positioned to lead the way.